Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. And here we are on day one of Vlogmas. How exciting is that? Wow, can't believe it. Can't believe it's December. Where did 2022 go? Extraordinary, honestly. It's madness. But I am joining the madness that is Vlogmas. I aim to come to you every day. I've got a bit of a format that I want to work with, but that may adapt um, as the month goes on. Let's wait and see. But because I'm going to be filming daily, um, you, yes you, you get a chance to influence what you'd like to see. So um, I've been asking questions over on Instagram, which is at so so mad. Um, and if you haven't had a chance to ask your question to me yet, then please do, because part of this year's, as was last year's, um, is my advent calendar, okay? So I'm, I have got a Beyond the Pink Door calendar, which is amazing, but that's my birthday and Christmas present to me from my husband, so I'm keeping that to myself, if that's okay. I know my lovely colleagues um, on Instagram and YouTube will be sharing that with you, but my advent calendar is a little bit different, and in each of these is a question from you um, to me about me and my world. So if you haven't added a question to the list already, then please do, um, because um, yeah, you literally can influence this right up until the last day. Um, so depending on if I've got more questions than, um, than days, obviously, but, but please, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'm gonna, <coughs> so my format, I'll just put that there. I'm in my sewing room. I'm going to be moving around my house um, over the days, I expect. And this first section of my vlog every day will be port uh, portrait so that I can show you my outfit of the day. Um, now, I, <laughs> as you know, I often say um, YouTubing is a landscape for, um, landscape format, but you can't see my outfit then. So this first section every day will be this way around and then there'll be uh, probably the rest of the video or the majority of the video will be landscape. So just so you know that, hopefully not mention that every day. So let's start with my outfit of the day. So today um, I'm in, um, uh, I'm in, what am I in? I'm in the Metra trousers um, by, um, oh my goodness, that's gone well, isn't it? Metro trousers by I want to say Love Notions, but um, no, Sinclair Patterns. Metro, it gets so confusing. There's the Metro, Metro Browser by Love Notions and the Metra Trousers by Sinclair Patterns. I have both. I love both. This is why it gets complicated. Um, but my question, that's, um, I happen to know what this is, but ordinarily I'm going to be opening a question. Um, but I opened this and thought, how ironic. So I put the questions in here. Um, but I don't know what questions they are, but I was just prepping. And today's question is very ironic because it says, what is your favorite make this, oh uh, no, what is, what, what is your, sorry, start again. The question is, what is your most worn make? And my most worn make is these trousers. So the Metra trousers by Sinclair Patterns. Oh, I made these quite recently actually um, and yeah these are made out of Ponta Roma that I got um, from Dragonfly Fabrics earlier in the year uh, where I met Jenny um, from 007 on Instagram. Hi Jenny. Um, I just love these trousers. They've got big deep pockets, you've got um, patch pockets on the back, you've got a nice deep waistband uh, with no elastic in it. The elastane comes from the, the Ponte itself um, and they are Oh, they're, they're sort of straight leg. I think they're called the boot cut, but they're actually um, pretty straight leg. And I reach for these loads. Um, if you can hear a dog barking, it's Alice downstairs. Um, she gets, she's a bit disgruntled because she has a, a wonderful sense of when I'm dressed. So I've obviously just got dressed and she wanders in um, as, I, as if to say, right, stroll time. So I'm gonna take her out for a walk in a minute. Maybe I'll take you with me on a bit of a stroll. I've also got the ED top on here. Um, this is from Sew Over It. Um, I think this is from their, one of their eBooks. Um, maybe work to weekend or something like that. But I've had this for years and you've seen this before. It's made in a scuba. It's a little bit hot if I'm honest. But I put it on and every time I think, oh yeah, no, it works. And I wear it, let me show you. I wear it with a little jacket. Uh, now this jacket isn't me made, it's one of the very few things in my wardrobe that isn't me made. This is from Jigsaw, which is a, a UK um, brand of sort of designer wear, super expensive. 
I got this in the sale a couple of years ago and I just wear it and wear it. Um, and this is made of Ponty. Um, it's actually a really simple design, not lined or anything, so easily could easily make one of these. But that's a really comfortable me made outfit for the day. So um, I'm going to go off to work. Um, actually, I'm going to take the dogs for a walk and then I'm going to go off to work. Um, and then when I get back later, um, I'll probably give you a flavour of what I'm up to sewing and we'll see how it all pans out. But I hope you have a great 1st of December. It's a beautiful day today. Nice crisp, crisp early morning. So I'm standing stationary because I've got a dog probably eating grass here somewhere or something like that. Come on girls, let's walk on. Right. Just like to go round the block of a morning. Here's my whippies. There's Alice and Lara. <laughs> <laughs> Lara's getting on a bit now. Uh, she used to make an appearance in my videos quite often, but no, the only appearance she makes these days <laughs> is with a duvet. <laughs> Today's slice of sewing is going to be a dress, and it is a dress made out of this amazing fabric. I've just moved my tea, otherwise that would make a right mess. So this is a beautiful... Um, this is an exclusive print from Minerva, um, absolutely lovely. Look at all the lovely autumnal colours in that. Um, I'll pop the name of it on here because it's neatly gone out of my head. And I, I love making jersey dresses. It's probably my favourite thing to wear, especially at this time of year. Um, and it probably is just a winter style dress. So I am going to make, and I've sat neatly at the wrong place, I'm going to make the Thea dress. Um, I'll put the stock photo in here. That's from Sew Over It. I think this is going to be a super, super quick make. Um, I think it's drop shoulder. Um, so you've basically got a sort of a bat wing style um, dress. Uh, so under the arms a little bit wider and then down into quite a, a tight fitting skirt, which I just think is going to look super with tights and boots. So something dead, dead comfy to wear. Quite a quick make I think and I look forward to sharing more of that with you um, as the days go on. And just like that, day one is done. How has it treated you? Um, you may have thought, oh, hang on a minute, that looks like daylight um, when, when I'm talking about um, my plans for the Thea dress from Sew so Over It. Um, and uh, my hair is a different colour too. So I, um, over the course of the, literally the last week, 
I've been filming a few clips um, of sort of sewing content so that I can splice some in over the next um, over the next few weeks because uh, it is sewing that I'm doing but I'm not doing it necessarily on the day that you see me so I hope that makes sense but I thought I'd take you on my sewing journey and I really look forward to it's just sitting up there on my bookshelf um, I'm looking forward to making that up because I haven't done any sewing so far this week um, and I just wanted to keep these videos um, less than 15 minutes if I can um, just a small snippet into my life um, on a daily basis and tomorrow is a big day for me because tomorrow I'm off to my um, my annual conference for work so more of that to come so it'll be a really early doors clip from me tomorrow and some s small amounts of footage from across the day hopefully so it'll be quite a short one tomorrow I think but we'll see we'll see what um, what, how the day unfolds and then Saturday um, I have got a, um, a video coming to you it's part of the vlogmas series but it contains slightly longer content um, because I have um, a, a prepped that ready for the fact that I'm going to be quite tired recovering um, from being at party or a conference all day and then a party tomorrow night for work um, and I'm in the Heathrow area so I've got to travel back down from there on Saturday so there is a, a video coming to you um, in readiness for Saturday so um, yeah it's a bit of a busy weekend for me so I'm out tomorrow out tomorrow night out um, we're doing some sewing on Saturday so I'll be sharing that with you um, on Sunday I should think and then Saturday night I'm out as well so there's Christmas events coming up and bits and pieces so I hope you've enjoyed today I can't wait to see you tomorrow don't forget to leave me a comment um, uh, about any questions or things you'd like to know more about over the vlogmas period I'm also going to do something um, I'm going to pop up here my current subscriber number um, and I would really like to give us a challenge as a community, a YouTube community. What number do you think you could get me to? Um, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, you see that number there. What number do you think you can get me to? Do you think you could get me to, I don't know, 6,000 subscribers? Is that too, um, too much of an ask? I'm not sure. Um, put in the comments below what, what your prediction is of how many people will subscribe over the course of December. Come on, let's go for it team. Um, and, and if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I could help with that, then please click on the subscribe button. That'd be amazing. That's enough for me today. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Take care.